An update on the theft of some Boston police uniforms that were stolen from a supply store. The FBI and Weymouth police are now giving us some pictures of what those five uniforms look like. And you'll see that there is a police jacket, a formal police uniform, you'll see a leather jacket there, and a vest as well. All of them still missing, and now authorities are also offering a reward. The I-Team's chief investigative reporter, Cheryl Fiendaka, has been working the story from the very start. And Cheryl, a lot of people worried about what someone might do with these uniforms. Yeah, that's exactly the concern here, David. Now, these are real Boston police uniforms, jackets and shirts that officers wear on the street. And with the marathon right around the corner, there's a stepped-up effort to find the uniforms and the thieves. Weymouth police releasing these photos of the Boston police uniforms that were taken from Andrea's police and fire supply store. A lightweight jacket with Boston police stamped on the back. A short sleeve shirt similar to what Boston's bike officers wear. Uniform pants, a leather jacket, and a dress uniform coat, both with Boston police patches on the sleeve. The thieves also took a bullet resistant vest. Can we just Sorry. talk to you about what happened? No one at the store wanted to talk to the I team about the thefts last month. Sources say the thieves cut through drywall to get to the uniforms. The break in happening over a weekend. It's not uncommon for people to impersonate police officers. I mean, the most obvious case that comes to mind is the theft in the 1990s from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. The men who were involved in that theft were dressed up as Boston police officers. With the marathon on Monday, officers have been told to be on high alert. It would be difficult, but not impossible, for someone impersonating a police officer to uh, potentially infiltrate the police presence at the marathon. You know, and Lisa, sources are telling me that police do have security protocols in place because of the concern about the stolen uniforms. And as you mentioned, there is this $5,000 reward for any information in this case. David, Lisa? Cheryl, thank you.